It starts with E and ends with sports. <laughs> That's right. E sports. E sports. Yes. Um. All right. Well, this is going to be a great match. Um, that highlight video you guys just saw. You, you got to look at that. And I, I see that. And I think Ty is going to take this man. Yeah, I mean, man. His tank look at this. Too good. Whoa. Only Taster, the uh, Monday caster, the MC for the Korean desk, did vote for Dark. I think that's a mistake. He's the black <laughs> sheep here, man. But then again, uh, we were all wrong on TY earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might happen again. Um, all right, we see TY ready with the hot packs in his hands. The game is loaded up. Bryon Terrace, this is our map. A TVC the H match. Let's go. It's like jungle sounds in the background. Do you hear that? It's crickets. Crickets and stuff? <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. T.Y. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's his name. Don't it's wear baby. it out. Uh, down here, bottom right. Our Zerk player, Dark. Seeking redemption after that loss to Zest. Uh-oh. What are you T.Y. Doing, Nobody T.Y. cares about your your mid game here. He's gonna, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, he's up to no good. There's a chance that he'll just go for CC first and wants to scout. Oh, I see. Okay, he wants to deny the um, the hatch here because it's it's gold based the expansion right away. So like anything he can oh. do to slow that down. Okay, I see what he's doing. It's pretty cool. Actually, decides to go for barracks. So you can uh, follow it up as well. I'm, I wonder if he uh, opts to build something here. Yeah, he could make it eBay. I don't know if he has to, but I'm, it would be interesting. The thing is, when you get at a level that's this high, even making the eBay, the eBay just puts you slightly slower on everything else you could rush out. Yeah, he doesn't have to do it. It'll be hard as well uh, because drones could just be pulled to deal with it. One drone just going to get to work, start nibbling. Push that SCV back. TY doing a really nice job delaying for a long time. Okay. He manages to get it down. Uh, the Reaper has started producing. And, uh, yeah. I think, I think it's actually a smart build for this map. Uh, I mean, the impacts of getting a gold base kick in so fast. We normally, uh, especially on this map, I would assume we would see um, them attempt to super saturate the gold base immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we see that a lot. And uh, getting, getting two workers on each of those gold patches. Um, because I, I, the, even though you lose a little bit of time during the transfer, you actually end up getting so much. Even yeah, with Taren, Taren here having the command center finish a little bit later, it can allow Zerg to have some, you know, it's a pretty big boost yeah. to income. So Reaper is out. Going to go for the watchtower over here, actually. First, kind of an interesting angle that he's taken. Going to go back home and defend. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I really went too hard in that PvP, man. <laughs> I really actually am feeling it in my throat. Mm. Um, so I, if I understand what is going to happen here next, the, the big question is going to be uh, when and if Zerg can get the third base, because that should be the gold base in the center right. Uh, obviously, Terran doesn't get to get three bases, especially on this map, as easily. Uh, so Terran may depend on the utility of the quick gold base that he has himself to do a t some kind of timing push in the midst of the third base being acquired. Now, I do wonder if Zerg, since they, did get, they do get the gold base a little bit quicker, if there's any kind of weird timing you can do with just the additional extra minerals to try to come in there and hit him really hard. Well, he does have Overlord Speed on the way. He got that against Zest, yeah. and he just used it for scouting, but... Um who knows? He could go for something a little bit weird. He's going to surround this Reaper, in fact, so that's going to deny any more scouting for TY. And uh, if he wanted to go for something crazy, uh, now's the time. <laughs> but, um... So, yeah, he is just going to scout with this. Yeah. Um, 
and uh, he's going to go for Cloak here. Getting that one Viking out first, though. Yeah, I wonder and, if and he's going to commit to that. No, he cancels it. Also, the third base for Zerg has started. Now, because he's going for a starboard, I don't know if he can actually stop the third base. Uh, but the third base, uh, distance from that to the second, and then the second to the main, uh, this is a pretty big distance for Zerg to try to cover. So I think if he attacks to the ground at one point in time, probably at the third to the second, and then drops it you know, anywhere else. Yeah, he could attack the third and just drop it in the main. Uh, as you were saying, very, very far apart. Goes in for another scout here, makes sure that that cloak has been canceled. Now, it's not always uh, just the builds that TY does to win. It, it's, it's a lot uh, about how he executes his control here. My concern is that if he's going to go for a Liberator here, is that going to be doing enough damage to punish? I mean, it, it hurts, you know, early on if you get it with a Liberator and you're at a, um, you know, a, a blue mineral base. But mm -hmm. if they're hitting you with a gold base, you, you're still Ooh. mining. Oh, sick. Nidus, okay. Well, the speed on the Overlord is definitely going to help out a lot here, but TY is on this. You know, he he does take out this Overlord. He has, he's got a, actually something patrolling in the edge of his main too, so. He's wary about this, like he knows that this is a possibility. Comes over to the third base, sees no drones. He's like, hmm. Well, no, hold on. I mean, it might not mean too much because that there's not drones there yet to him. He might think, oh, he pulled them away. I mean, there's enough overlords on the map, right? Oh, he scans. Okay, he knows. All right, now the queens have to transfuse on the Nidus. Yeah, need to get that transfuse. Get those Hellions back in there. All right, here we go. Okay, he backs up. Oh, wow. Okay, he's going to decide to just defend right, here with we'll the Liberator just, and the we'll, Hellions. Well, just don't go into that Liberator zone and you're fine. Uh, he does get the transfuse up on that one Queen. Yeah, Liberator, another one comes out. Liberation zone is coming oh, down. Oh, the Liberator! It's being repaired. Can he save it in time? He cannot! And I... Okay, there's a second Liberator out. Uh -huh. I don't know if that matters. Uh, he's... Making Ravagers, which is going to counter the Liberator hold here. There is a tank. Now, the, the tank-Liberator combo can be pretty handy. But notice, he's making 10 more links. He wants to stick this up. He's going to break this in the next second, or at least attempt to. Ravagers going for the Liberator. The repair oh. keeps it alive. They still got Queens. He's still got Queens. He's got to get those SMEs <laughs> below that. Oh, the repair keeps it alive. He's lost so much, though, in the process. He's only No, no, actually, he's got a decent number of SCDs, though. Problem is, after this is all said and done, Zerg can go mine. All right, here we go. Get ready. It's going down on the Liberator now. There it is. You can't even repair that. He doesn't have enough SCVs underneath either. Another, Another Liberation uh, Zone set up here. Yeah, it does come out. All right, takes that out easy peasy. And uh, although it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a scrappy attack here from Zerg from here on out, it's even scrappier defense. <laughs> and that's going to be it. He knows it's over. T.Y. Not Shrek, man. Two times in a row. Losing the ace GG. match for his team. GGSK Telecom is winning our first series here in wow. tonight's Pro League. But we're only halfway done. Yeah, don't go yet, guys. We got another game, another matchup coming between two teams. Man. Well, well Dark did it. Great game. Uh, pretty cool. I guess when you have that one gold base mining, you can get a good timing like that. Uh, you could even do that without a gold base, but when you have a gold base, it's even easier, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate for TY that he wasn't really prepared for that. He was desperately, like, once he saw it, he was desperately trying to get out tanks, trying to get out liberators, but Dirk knew exactly how to go on with that build, made the exact right amount of Ravagers, snipe the Liberators before there were too many of them. Uh, had enough Queens as well to deal with the Liberators before he had any Ravagers. TY, uh, a very frustrating moment, but you know what? When you're dominating as much as TY is, that's when everybody is gonna start organizing builds that play around the fact that uh, you're so strong in mid game and late game. Yeah. And you know, SKT overall as a team, uh, each individual player and then their overall strategies were just better prepared for their opponents. Yeah. So all of us got that wrong except the MC for the Korean desk. Kind of funny. Getting that right. Can I, can I, I point out that if you look at this, Sue and Dark, two of the three wins here. Sue did the Baneling all in. 
you know, bringing Fruit Dealer back and